Hello, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to upload marks from an Excel sheet to your Moodle course page. Okay, the useful uh, uh, feature that this Moodle has, it provides an option for a student to see only their own marks and it does not reveal other student marks to anybody else. So to do that, right now I'm on the my course uh, uh, page. First thing you'll have to do, go ahead and do turn editing on, and then go to the grades tab. Now what I have here in my Excel sheet, there are several grade items uh, which are there. Basically, these are the marks list, and uh, I have I want to upload these marks to the Moodle course page okay so let us see how to do that okay so i'll first go to the setup here in the grades and then setup and i will create as many grade items as there are in my excel sheet so i have quiz one with some one with some two quiz two and some one and some two okay and then there is a total as well so to do that let us add a grade item here so the first one is the grade item quiz one I'm going to write quiz one and the total marks for the quiz one was 15. Uh, if your grade item the total marks does not correspond to its actual weightage for example if it's of 100 marks and the weightage is only 15 percent of the total you can do some weight adjustment here or there is an alternative method as well that i'll show you later but for my case it is not there so i'll just leave it here as 15 as the total marks for that quiz and then i'm going to go and save changes so i'm going to add all the grade items here first quiz one then uh, mid same one here and the weightage for that was again 15 save changes then uh, I'll add uh, MidSem2. Okay, again 15. Save changes. Continue. Then quiz 2, which was again of 15. So I'm going to change this to 15. And then and same one, which was of 20 marks. And and sum two, which was again of 20 marks. So now I have added all my grade items. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, you can see my weights have been adjusted accordingly so that my total is 100. Okay. I'm going to do go ahead and do here the calculation. Uh, so that this is the calculation for the total marks, which is equal to first, let me assign variables for each of these grade items. MS1, MS2 then uh, q2 then es1 and then es2 so i'll add id numbers okay and then this is the formula i'm going to write q1 plus uh, ms1 plus MS uh, two plus uh, Q two plus ES one plus ES two. So I have just like you know linear sum of all my grade items. Let us say if you had to assign some weightage that you can multiply here, for example. 
0.5 if you want to assign weightage to a particular grade, grade item so this is the alternative weightage uh, technique that i was uh, mentioning about okay whatever you want to do you can use it as a formula here so i'm going to go ahead and uh, save the changes here okay let me uh, go ahead here and then what i'm going to do once i have the grade set up i'm going to import all my grade items now there are multiple ways to import either you can convert your excel file to a csv file save it as a csv file but i'm going to try try this the paste from a spreadsheet so what i'm going to do i'm just going to directly copy all these marks here okay and paste it here okay and this is the preview let us i have 92 students so 100 should be enough I'm going to go ahead and upload the grade. So this is the preview that you can see. Okay. Now, what I want to do, I want to map. You can see these first row header, these items will come here. I want to map my roll number, which is the roll item here. Okay. To the id number id number is basically what uh, moodle identifies the roll number with okay and then i only want to again map one to one mapping of quiz one from the excel sheet grade items to the moodle grade items okay so midsem one from excel sheet to midsem one here and then midsem two from the excel sheet to the midsem two grade item then quiz two to quiz two and then and sem one two here yeah, okay so now you upload the grade now one caution that you should exercise here many times what happens a student's name would contain some sort of letters like department change students will come with 20d or something if that is there you look at what is the id number of that student is there in the moodle and then you just write that small d or capital d otherwise it will give you error so what i have got here is the grade import success I'm going to continue here and I can see all the marks of my students are uploaded here with respect to each grade item and the totaling is also being done by safe. I did not map the totaling from the excel sheet here. I let the safe do all the totaling. Now if you want to individually let us say after uploading it one or two student if you want to modify some marks you just go ahead turn the editing on and then you individually you can actually modify it here okay and then save the changes okay. so i hope this is clear